Hey, what's up party people? Welcome back to the YouTube channel. So in today's video, I want to share how to sell insurance effectively. So first thing you got to realize guys is the goal of the sale is not to get them to buy. The goal of the sale is to get them to decide. <laughs> If they don't make a decision, you'll never make a sale in the first place. So guys, we start off the sale on opposite ends of the table, looking at a decision. What we want to do by the end of the call is to be shoulder to shoulder with them, looking at the same thing together. Like we want to be shoulder to shoulder, helping them look at a decision and they know we're on their side. So we want to move from one side of the table to right next to them helping them confront the decision on why they need this. Because guys, sales, we're really just transferring our conviction. So if their conviction is an eight out of 10 on why they don't need this or they don't see the value and yours is a five out of 10 because you have commission breath and you're just trying to make a sale because you're broke, like you're gonna buy their limitations, whatever they give you. Now, if your conviction on a scale of 10 is an 11 and theirs is a four, you're going to overcome every objection they have because you care enough about the client to get them to do what's in their best interest because you can already see it for them. So what we have to do is think before I knew what I knew now, where was I at? Well, then you were in their shoes. So you want to walk across the bridge to before you knew what you knew now to meet the client where they are at because they don't know everything about life insurance that you do or why they need it. You're the one who spent 40 hours, 48 if you were in California for some reason, they got some weird laws, but you're the one who got the license. You're supposed to be the subject matter expert on this. So you should be able to answer their questions. And what I like to focus on is the prospect and how they feel rather than the product. Because who's more important than the sale, the prospect or the product? Hopefully you said this one. So I don't focus too much on the product. I focus on what the product is going to do for the prospect and I deliver that in a really third grade reading level way. Like I try to not sound clever, I try to sound clear. Because if they don't understand you because you're trying to make yourself look like Leonardo da Vinci of insurance, like you're gonna come off as rude or a dick or a douche and that's not what you want. You just wanna say, hey, this is what this is going to do for you. Like this policy is gonna be there for your family when you need it. So when you pass away, Mr. Customer, like I'm gonna deliver a check and it's gonna pay off your family's entire house that way they don't have to worry about paying the mortgage. Does that sound fair? Is that what you wanted it to do? Awesome. Then we can move on to the next part. But it's just about being clear. And guys, I know I'm wearing like a weird mic, so if you hear my stomach growling, it's because I'm super hungry. So sorry if you hear like a stomach growl, but besides that, in order to be effective guys, like I'm a huge believer in conviction. So the more you care about the person sitting at the other end of the table that you're sitting with, or even on the other end of the phone, act like they're your best friend, act like they're your mom and just tell them like, Hey, do you mind if I talk to you like a family member? Like people eat that shit up and they love it. Another thing you can do to be extremely effective that has made me tens of thousands of dollars selling life insurance is to label them. So when someone says, well, I just wanted this policy to leave my family better off. I just wanted to leave them money behind so they didn't have to worry. Like, wow, Mr. Customer, thanks for sharing that with me. I can tell you're someone who really values family. And by you sending them a label, when they buy the product, it's going to reward their behavior because behavior is changed in only two ways. It's either rewarded or punished. So when you reward them for buying, they're going to link a need between buying your policy to being a family man or someone who really values their family. And when you label them like that, they love it and your persistency goes through the roof and you have a huge drop down in churn or chargeback percentage because you're rewarding their buying behavior psychologically. And guys, if you haven't read any psychological stuff like uh, Carl Jung has some great stuff on like archetypes and like NLP has changed the whole way I sell because like I can get people to change their internal representation of how they see things. And if you can change someone's beliefs 
and their perspective, you can change what they do because they are confronting the same problem they've been dealing with in their head in a completely different way. And you're showing them how to do it differently. And it's so much easier when you just show people instead of just telling them all this mumbo jumbo and you spew stuff out like a fire hose. So what I've done to be extremely effective is just meeting the clients where they are at and helping them make a decision. And usually that is by overcoming their BS objections that they give me. And so what that sounds like is, oh, I need to think about this. Well, what do you need to think about? What do you need more information on? Just being direct with that. Like, does this product meet your needs? Is it going to do what you want the, like the policy to do? You told me you wanted it to pay off the house, right? Do you feel like if you die, this policy is going to do that for you? Yep. Awesome. Do you like me or does my, do I stink? Do I have something in my teeth? Like, do you, do you not like me? No, I like you. Awesome. Do you have access to money or know someone who does? Yes, awesome, let's just get you signed up that we don't, we don't have to worry about this anymore. You can take it off your to-do list. Don't you think your wife would be very appreciative if you just took care of this problem for her and when you're no longer here, unfortunately, I can just deliver a check to her and the whole house is paid off? Like, Do you think she'd be mad at you for that? No, awesome, let's just get you signed up. What's your full legal name? And straight into the application. So guys, when people make like a buying statement or a commitment, after a couple of those, move straight into the sale. Like. Hey, do you see the value in this? Like, which policy do you want? If you're doing a three option close, like, and guys, the reason I'm going all over the place is just to give you a 30,000 foot view because there's lots of different ways to skin a cat. But if you have a couple of these tools under your belt, just focus on using, like utilizing one or two shopping cart approach, use what's useful, take out of the basket, put it back on the cart, what's not useful. So if you're using a three option close and you say, okay, this one does this, this one does this, this one does this, or here is... This is how much this one costs. This is how much this one costs. This one is this much. Which one do you want? It's not, do you want one? It's which one do you want and make them pick one. And as soon as they pick one, move straight into the application. Cause you leaving doubt and all this silence on the table. I see so many agents like sell themselves out of a policy. Like they unsell the person by giving too many options or just not being clear on where you want them to go. Like pre-frame the call and just tell them what you want them to do. So by the end of this call, thanks for meeting with me, but by the end of the call, all I want you to do is make a decision on whether you need this or not. And if we decide that you do, I'm gonna help you fill out an insurance policy that we can get your family protected. Sound fair? Awesome, now they know what you want. Now they know what they need to do and they don't feel like they're just being hijacked or taken all over the place. We don't want to kidnap our customers. We want to make them think they are in control, but they're really not. We are. We're moving them in a direction that we want them to go because who should have the upper hand in the sale? The salesperson who's done it a hundred times or the customer who's done it once or twice? Us, the subject matter experts who are licensed agents and professionals. Hopefully that's how you carry yourself. But guys, this is how to be effective in insurance sales. Just be a conversationalist. Listen to what they're saying to comprehend, not just respond as soon as they get done talking or yapping away. Sell them on what it's going to do for them, not what it is. This is an insurance policy, it's peace of mind. This isn't an insurance policy, it's going to pay your house off. This isn't an insurance policy, it's going to pay for your funeral, that way your family doesn't have to take time off work or deal with the financial burden of a GoFundMe. Even though an insurance is an insurance policy, in the client's mind, they don't care. They just wanna know what is going to do for them. So sell them on that. So I hope you guys found this extremely beneficial. If you like this, share this with another agent that you're best friends with. Uh, if you found like, drop a subscription to the channel. And I really make these videos to help you guys make a shit ton of money because I know how weird it can be to kind of navigate this industry sometimes based on trash mentorship, bad leads, any of that stuff, bad mentality. So. If you got value out of this, share it, like it, comment, you know, all that fancy stuff. But I'll see you guys in the next video. I love you all. Keep being awesome. And until next time, bye.